How long will they move me? Yeah, it's for my nigga K Do. It's still on, nigga. We live a thug life. Welcome to Lost Culture, your one stop destination for everything pop culture. My name is Aston, and I'll be your host for today's episode of Lost Culture's All Eyes on Me review. So, let's get right into the story. This movie <clears throat> is not a good movie. I'm, so, I mean, I'm sorry to say that. I was really excited for this film. Um, it had a couple of people behind it, but this film was not a good film at all. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what went wrong in this film. I know a couple things that went wrong, but beyond that, this wasn't a good movie, like, for multiple reasons. Like, there's no story. The transition between scenes are, is horrible. The... What else is going on in this film? Bro, like, this timeline... There's a lot of little issues in this film. This doesn't make sense. There, When you're building a protagonist, you want that protagonist... You want your, like, your... Basically, your customers to come in and build an attachment to your protagonist. And I never feel any attachment towards Tupac. The relationship between Tupac and Jada Pinkett, I was never really invested in. The relationship between Tupac and, um, I can't remember the singer's daughter. I, I wasn't invested in that. Um, what else? Suge Knight, I feel like the actor that played Suge Knight was not a good actor. I don't know why they had so many different celebrities in the film. That's one thing I also didn't like. I didn't like, like... I'm a Mano fan, but I don't know why Mano was in there. I don't know why Blue Da Vinci was in the film. I don't know why the old dude in the <clears throat> in the um, jail why why that scene was even there. Like he came there, gave him some. Pac didn't even know this dude. Within two minutes of knowing him, he gave him he was giving him life advice. Then we flash back to it again. He's stabbing somebody, and that's the last time we see him. Like there's so many issues with this film. It's multiple reasons. It's from the writing to the production of this film was horrible. Like, the um, the punch-ins for Snoop Dogg. I don't know who idea was to have um, to have Snoop Dogg actually dub his own lines into the film, but I feel like I was watching some low-budget, like, BET film. You know how you watch, like, a movie that's edited for, like, for TV? That's how I feel. When I heard, like, anytime Snoop Dogg talk, his verbiage was not on track with the lips of the actor. Um, I don't know if the actor had different lines when they were actually shooting the film due to, and um, Snoop Dogg just did his own lines. I don't know what happened there, but that definitely, those lines definitely did not match up. And that made like so obvious. And to be honest with you, you can tell that Benny Boom is a music director. That's, it seemed like it was a bunch of just many stories. Like it's, Smashed together, it, it sucked. It, boy, this movie was bad. Like, I don't put anything against like Demetrius um, Ship Jr. or like Cat Graham. Cause I love Cat Graham individually. It's the first time I've ever seen um, Demetrius perform. Um, who else was in the film? The same dude they had played B Small played in this film, and it was worse. I feel like his acting got even worse. I don't understand how he was so bad. And, like, he mumbled everything he said. I don't know why, why I, I just don't, I don't I didn't understand it. Um, war like wardrobe it was pretty magic. There were a couple a couple of, like main scenes I would love to have seen from Tupac's life, like the um, the Black Hawk jersey when he's spitting on the celebrities. Um, yeah, there's just so many issues with this film <clears throat> film that I had. Do I think you should go out and rush to see this film? No, like, I feel bad to say that because Tupac, I grew up on Tupac. I love Tupac. And this film just didn't do any justice to his story. It was literally just a greatest hit for Tupac and with nothing added. It was just a bunch of different things. Like, there wasn't even a storyline. They would just randomly just jump to different scenes in Tupac life. And I really hated it. I really hated it. Yes, they showed different aspects of it, but... Yes, they kind, of, they kind of played off like how he was a contradiction, but they didn't display it well at all. Even when Tupac died, they had a gospel song playing, and I was wondering why the whole time, why they had to have a gospel song playing when Tupac died. It, I just feel so let down by this film, honestly. I feel like they cheap, it was a cheap cash grab, um, 
I know they had issues with the directors. They went from John Singleton to Benny Boom. But whatever John Singleton was planning on doing with this film, I'm pretty sure it was a thousand times better than this finished product. And I knew something was wrong when I seen that they had an embargo on critic reviews until the night it came out. I think literally maybe an hour or hour or two before the first showings is when these films, like the critics reviews started to pop up. And boy, was it bad. I think the 24% that it has is generous. I'm telling you, I think it was generous. I, I'm not gonna claim to be like the greatest movie producer, me video editor or anything, but I could have edited a lot of these scenes a lot better than he did. Um, the relationship, oh my God, I, got, I feel like, I don't know where to start at. So let's get into the film. We start off with a Black Panther, like the big Black Panther thing with his mom. And right away from there, like, okay, maybe we'll see how the Black Panthers influence his life. Nope, that's really the only Black Panther scene we got. We see his stepfather, which was confusing to me. Like we see the uh, FBI looking for a stepdad. Then we do a flash and his stepdad just sitting in the house chilling like, like it's nothing. I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, there's no way this is true. Then going on from there, we we see him like going different places and everything. This this film is really hard. Like it's really hard to watch. Honestly, it is really hard to watch. I don't know how they even let this film hit the. I'm pretty sure they, they feel like they sunk too much money into it. They feel like they just just is not a good film. I'm telling you, like. I'm not again. I mean, I'm not for going out and like bootlegging a film. But if you really want to see this film, I'm telling you, go watch. Watch it on Cody. Watch it on one of those free movie sites or something. Do not give this studio any money for this film. I'm telling you that right now. You should not pay to go watch this movie. Stay home. Use your internet that you're already paying for. This film is bad. Um, I don't like. I don't know what else to say about this film. Just save your money if it. If you find somewhere to watch it for cheap, do that. Uh, I wouldn't rush out to see this film. This is not a good film from the directing to the writing to the production wise. It, this film struggled from opening to close. And I feel bad on I feel bad about saying that. I didn't want to bash this movie at all. But this movie has to be bashed. It's just things like this where they just take take heroes of different cultures or whatever and they use them just to make money off of them. That's this is a prime example of that for this film. I don't know what else to say. It's It shows in the production. Um, beyond that, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you heard, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to start doing my power. We're going to be doing power reviews again this year. We might have a couple um, guests with us in and out of the um, other reviews. But beyond that, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay lost. And support Lost Culture. As always, if you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. Now here goes our previous video, and here goes the recommended video. And as always, don't forget to stop by our site to pick up one of our Lost Culture t-shirts. And as always, stay lost.